right, everyone. Uh, what we're looking at today is the Trigicon IR Hunter. This is the 35 millimeter. I believe it's the Mark II. Uh, this belongs to a friend of mine. He was nice enough to let me borrow it to uh, take a look at it and see, get some thoughts on it. And let's take a look. So as far as controls go, this top knob changes the uh, view of the thermal image, either making it white hot, black hot. It's got a few different variations. And then there's a cool thing that like outlines everything that looks pretty pretty interesting and makes things really pop and stand out. Uh, you've got uh, your magnification knob over here. And over here is your mode knob. They can go through the different modes uh, of, the, uh, of the scope itself. This thing right here is your battery compartment. They sit down in here. There's your power switch. Right over here is the port. Looks like it's watertight. Uh, for plugging in the USB-C if you want to run that external battery pack. You've got your diopter right here where you can adjust for your, your vision. If it's as bad as mine, it's going to be needing a lot of adjustment. And it just uses your typical uh, Trigicon nut right here to tighten it down on a, on a pick rail. Uh, it looks like it's got two screw metals. So there's probably uh, plates if you want to put like a quick throw lever. I'm sure there's different uh, bases made by other people out there that you can change that out if you want to change it. So just a heads up, I mounted it on my PTR-91 just to kind of see how it fit. Um, I would have to remove my rear diopter sight to get it back where I really want it because I'm really uh, pushing it, at, and I'm six foot one to get that eyepiece right up to my eye with the, the stock all the way up against my shoulder. So it's a little bit of a reach. So just keep that in mind if you're wanting to mount one of these, that if you have a rear sight, you may need to relocate it or maybe get a riser of some kind to uh, raise the scope up a little bit to clear that. So menu four, which is uh, the selection on the left-hand side, will take you down to your different reticles. So you can just use your turret on the right side to look at your different reticles. And that's uh, what we've got as far as reticles. So menu one is your zoom. And you run your uh, knob to the right to adjust that. And it goes from one all the way up to eight. This lets you uh, set to range, I guess, for bullet drop compensation. That's definitely what it looks like. Okay, you got all your options there. Now this feature has an image capture. Not quite sure how to use that yet. We're still kind of playing around with it. Uh, maybe I'll figure it out. The last menu option looks like it lets it uh, let you calibrate and set everything uh, to customize to your personal configuration, whether you want yards or meters, um, sleep time, all that you know, auto shut off features, everything else. All right, in just a moment, I'm going to uh, let it get a little darker out. I'm going to go take it out and see if I can see anything. Um, I think uh, one of my neighbors has some horses, so maybe we can see some movement out there or maybe any other uh, creatures running around and uh, take a look and see how it works. All right, uh, in this shot here, I've got a horse in the center there. You really can't see him that well. Uh, it's about 300 yards out. I didn't have time to really adjust and fine tune the uh, optic. And I'm going through the modes here. I'm gonna to go to enhanced to make it the easiest to spot. But that horse kept, the horse kept moving, so I had to do it really quick, kind of on the fly. But you will see the horse starting to walk away at least. Yeah, it's about 250, maybe 300 yards away. And I had to zoom in so you could really see him. But that gives you an idea kind of how it looks. So a little bit more information on this. Uh, one is that the uh, CR123 batteries will last approximately four hours. So that's another good reason to have that battery pack. Um, it does have a battery meter on the lower left side of the screen and it will notify you when the batteries get low. 
Uh, other thing is this thing weighs about 29 ounces, so just under two pounds, so it's not light. Could have told you that without that stat, um, just by feeling it. Uh, as well as when you put it into screen capture mode, that lets you take pictures through this, and it'll hold on its own memory up to 50 images, and you can uh, export those to uh, a computer or whatever via the uh, USB-C cable that plugs in here. So that is a nice feature. Um, and that's really, you know, that's really it. Got some decent images uh, as best I could using my phone up to the eyepiece to uh, give you guys a little idea how it looks. So I hope that gave you guys a little bit of information on this item. I just want to thank my good friend Matt for loaning this to me to let me uh, check it out. So if you found this video to be informative or give you, you know, the information you're looking for, please uh, give it a like. Um, also, feel free to comment and definitely use uh, some more subscribers. We're a, I'm a small channel trying to grow it, and um, every little bit helps. And I'll look forward to seeing everybody in the next video, even though you'll be seeing me. I won't be seeing you, but anyway.